Now let's go ahead and install Django. Let's navigate to our project. And inside of there, we'll go to C CD CFE Praj. And then I'll do pip EMV install Django. Okay, so if you already have Django installed, that's fine. You, you might have already tested that out. Uh, but another way to install Django is to actually give it the version that you want to use, right? So this is actually pretty important. It's every once in a while, you'll use a different version of Django. And to declare that different version, it's just like that. And that's actually true with any Python package. It's not just Django. So if you needed that different version, that would be how you do it. So let's just sh show you that with 1.11 point, I think it was like 16, something like that. This is an older version of Django and it can still install that. It's gonna look it up on PyPy and then it's going to download it, install it into our virtual environment and then it updates all of the things related to that virtual environment, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check this out with pip EMV shell and then I'll go ahead and do pip freeze in here and what I'll see is Django uh, 1.11.16 and I have a few other things in here that are sort of remnants from un installations that I did before. Um, so what I want to do is actually clean up this entire project. I I'm having issues with it now, right? I have things installed in here that I didn't intend to install. I only want Django in here, right? So I'm going to, I want to get rid of this virtual environment to install Django completely fresh and with the latest version of Django. So how do we actually go about removing this virtual environment and installing fresh? Well, the first thing is where it's actually located, which it actually tells you right here. So whenever you activate the pip EMV shell, it's gonna tell you where it's located, which is typically in, um, it's gonna be in something like this, where it has your username, dot local, share, and then virtual ENVs. Now to get to our virtual environment, it's this right here. So I can actually run the command open and then whatever that path is, and that will actually open up that directory. Notice that I have a few others in here, and this shows me where that virtual environment stuff is. So if I wanted to get rid of everything, I can just literally just delete it. I can drag it into my trash and delete it. Or what I can do is use the command rm-rf and then that path. That's another way to remove it. This is a more permanent way than moving it into the trash. In other words, I can't undo this. So let's go ahead and deactivate this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make sure our pip file is correct. So I'll go ahead and do pip file. And what I see is multiple versions of Django and some other things in there. So what I'm actually gonna do is I want to just remove this. So I'll go ahead and remove my pip file and I'll remove rm pip file.lock. And now my project just has requirements.txt. Let's go ahead and remove that too. So now I basically have no project. It's like an empty project. It doesn't even exist. There's no virtual environment anymore and there's no pip file anymore, which means that I'm just gonna clear this out, exit this term, uh, the terminal window to make sure that I'm definitely out of that virtual environment. And then I'll navigate back into it. So CD CFE Praj. And now, once again, I'll do pip EMV install. This time I'm gonna go ahead and declare Django and let's go ahead and grab the latest version of Django by going to djangoproject.com and then hitting the download latest release, which is 3.0.4. So Django is equals equals to 3.0.4. You can use a capital D if you want. Notice that it says pip install, but if I do pip env, it'll do it this way. And then I still have to declare the version of Python I want, which is Python 3, and it was again 3.8, but again, Python 3 is the example that I wanted. So now it's gonna go ahead and install that accordingly. So um, I'm gonna let that finish up, but while it, while it happens, I'm gonna take, just take a look at this again. I still have it open in my finder window, and what do you know, it's actually back there, and it might even be named the exact same. It adds this extra part to it uh, just to make it definitely unique because if you have multiple projects with the same name in different locations, it'll still make this virtual environment uh, accordingly. But now that we've got that, we have our virtual environment in here. If I do pip EMV shell, and first of all, I'll do cat pip file, and I see that I have the exact Django version that I wanted. If I do pip freeze, I should only see things that are related to Django. So all four of these packages are 
requirements of Django, which you could do some more research on and all that. So that was certainly a long-winded way on how to install Django 3.0 and above, but this exact method would work on any version of Django as we just saw.